Welcome back to the Reptiles with Podcast. How are you guys doing today? I'm all right. All right. We're in the woods what, again. What's up, brother? What was that? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what does that mean? You don't like any of that? Don't worry about it, sweetheart. That was a fucking butterfly. You saw that? Yeah. Right yeah, yeah. yeah on me? You? Yeah, yeah on on your you. yellow hat. Bro, yeah. what the fuck is happening? I don't know, dude. <laughs> I think you're a little fruity, bro. <laughs> I think the butterflies are trying to let, you, let us know something about yeah, you, yeah. bro. Let That's crazy. Know, it's because it's because of the yellow hat. So are you guys in tune with what's going on in the rap community right now? Oh yeah, for sure. I love no, it. Yeah. what happened? I love it. So the big three are going at it. Well, one of them already pulled out. Yeah, bro. So pussy, J Cole, pussy for that. Yeah, bro. yeah. But it got me thinking. What are the big three of the reptile community? The big three. Yeah, yeah. Like modern big three today going on right now, taking over the reptile space. Who do you think is the big three? Do they have to be alive? Yes, yes. That's what I'm saying, like, modern right now going on. Because, like, honestly, it would have been Steve and Brian. Yeah, yeah. Steven? Bro- Who the Steve- fuck is Steven? <laughs> Steve and Brian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, living right now, that's hard because I don't really... I mean... Yeah, like who do you think is is taking over the reptile space? I know that we've always we've had conversations of like who our favorite like influencers are, but like I think subject- Clint's up there. Who? Clint? Yeah. Oh yeah, Clint. I see Clint. Clint. I see Clint, Clint. staying for a while. Yeah, yeah, immortal. taking over the like specifically the YouTube space. I don't know what his Instagram looks like. No, not much, but yeah, yeah. Like, well, in general, of- I think everybody knows Clint and everybody loves Clint, which is important. And out of yeah. social media too, he's a professor. He yeah. is, he has his own little thing in yeah. Utah. Like, he I does think a lot. I think Clint's up there for sure. Mind you, I don't watch him, but everybody knows who Clint is. Like that's mm-hmm. it. What about Adam? No, no, I don't think he's there yet. Okay, he's yeah. up there though. He's right. up, but I don't think he's there like top dog like yet. Like three. Yeah, yeah top mm. three. I don't think he's top three. Okay. Oh, by the Chambers way, I there. saw he went live. He's pooping a baby. Really? Wait, what? He's pooping a baby. Wait, wait, who oh, went so live? Adam. He's going to be a dad? Yeah. No way. When did he yeah. say that? He went live a few days ago. No fucking Well, congratulations, way. man. Yeah, I yeah. didn't fucking... I got to send him a message. It's yeah. a hard animal. Congratulations, yeah. man. I went yeah. on and I was like, you're pooping a baby! <laughs> and I left. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. I'll send him a message. Yeah, congratulations on that. Yeah. Does that make him the big three? No, no. Damn, okay. I think he's still building up to the t- like to be up there. Put up the picture. I think he's still in the process yeah. of, you know, there's some people that are in the process. There's some people that are already up, you know? Yeah, that it's yeah, like, yeah. You're already yeah. up there. Like, you're immortal. Yeah, yeah. Like, you're just so part of it. So he actually, before we decide on who the big three is, Adam posted this picture the other day. He was like, should I make these <laughs> shirts? Look what it is. Oh, my God. It's it. wick sticks oh, and bricks. Oh, oh, oh. oh, a little bird. A little bird told me a little joke. Okay, what's the joke? Is this... Is this PG? Are we good? No, no, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's 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 pretty good. It's pretty good. So, you know, Adam's having a baby. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) How big is the crib going to (laughs) be? I take offense to that. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. What do you think the measurements are? (laughs) (laughs) He's going to live in a two by two. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, no offense. No offense. We're just fucking around. Congratulations. Yeah, congrats, bro. Yeah. Um, Okay, so So Clint Clint, for sure. I'm trying to think. Clint for sure. Chandler. One more. One more. Chandler just because that's also another person. Chandler is different from Clint in the aspect of Clint is very big in the reptile community. Mm -hmm. Chandler's big... Out of it. Out of it. Yeah. Okay. Like Chandler reaches people that the community doesn't reach. Okay. So I think that's big. Like if you think if you think like how big Steve Irwin was, he wasn't just in a community. He reached everybody. Mm, yeah. It didn't matter what community you were in. So so you would say that somebody like Forrest Galante is not part of that because it's not like reptile community based. No, mm. Forrest Galante could be part of it, but he's not top three. Like he's been trying for a very long mm. time to be up there. Now he's a very smart guy and he's done a lot of things, but yeah. I don't think he's up there, up there like Chandler and some of these other guys. Got you. What about uh, Eric from uh, Reptiverse? Uh, I feel like too he's, silly. <laughs> yeah, too silly. <laughs> too silly. Too silly. Too silly. Nah, he's yeah, sick I think with Chandler Clint. Okay, who's the third? Who's the third? <clears throat> Let me see. Who's the third? This is hard. This is hard. Because he's one of the last dinosaurs left. You could probably say nerd. Yeah. Yeah. Just because... Yeah, Kevin still has He was it. on that same like group yeah. of people. I don't know if he has it. On the online space? 
Yo, these bugs are tripping <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah. These bugs are tripping me the fuck out. You have a plant with Matt Thorns behind you. Be careful. Look at that oh, thing. Oh shit. Yeah. I feel thing. like that guy just grew there right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, it's, um, it's for me, nerd is just so so niche, it's so small, so yeah. niche. Like okay. he's just very. But in small. the reptile community, that's the thing. Everybody yeah. knows him. Yeah, within the community. Yeah. I think we give it the last spot to Kevin. I wouldn't. Okay. He's also somebody like Clint is somebody that everybody loves. Okay. Nerd is not that. <laughs> you know, nerd is controversial. But He's do the like, top three have to be universally loved? Like, if you're going to be at the top, you like J. Cole, Drake, and Yeah, but Kendrick, you can be at the top all, because all of how polarizing, like, polarizing you are. You can no, be the top because of how hated you are. No. Because you're talked about. No. No? No, not the same. Because then Sam Pruitt will be in <laughs> in the list. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Who's the anti-big three right now? Anti-big the, three. The worst three. <laughs> the worst anti -big three. three. Uh, we got OTW Exotics, <laughs> <laughs> Samson Pruitt in the same conversation. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the Samson, the Samson Pruitt sticks. for sure. Yeah, who's at the bottom? Adam, if you're going to go like that, Damn. Adam is mid. <laughs> What do you mean? Because Rest he's like peace, loved Adam. and hated at the same time. <laughs> oh, no, he's he mid. mid. And no, no, if we're going to measure like that, like yeah. love and hate, he's mid right now. Damn. It's because of those damn yeah, leopard yeah. geckos. Nah, he's up there. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's up there. He's not top three, but he's up there. Okay, anti big three. Anti anti big three is Samson, who who just got canceled. There's got to be somebody the that's gecko like, guy. Something. Oh, the gecko the, guy. The lemon frost dude. Oh, yeah, I guess he's in that topic for. For that. See, that's he's so niche, small. Though. He doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah he doesn't that's, matter. He doesn't know. matter much to be hated. He's the one that gets like oh, beat Tarzan. Up on the first Tarzan. Tarzan is hated big time in the community. Okay. In the community, he's yes. loved outside. The I community. have something to talk about with Tarzan today. Actually, yeah. that we'll do towards the end. Okay. 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 okay, okay, okay. We haven't yeah. decided on any of the big threes. Big three. <laughs> we already did Clint for sure. Clint Chandler. Do we agree on Chandler. Yes. Yeah, I could see Chandler for sure. And then mm, it's got to be Kevin, dude. Cultural relevance. Oh, I don't know about that. If bro, listen, I, I because if we're gonna go like big wise like that over Kevin is Jay, and I don't want to do that. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. And you know that. There you yeah, go. but He's I, Jay I think above him. I think Sinister I think six. Kevin is more respected than Jay. I Kevin think so too. has done more in the community in, in the, yeah, the breeding aspect than Jay. Absolutely, I think. He's done a lot of like research stuff with breeding yeah. and industry wise too. Yeah. I just don't see on yeah. that big. Mm. All right, you know what? In the comments, leave who, who we're Who's missing out. That's what we'll do. And then also in the comments, leave the anti big three. <laughs> we know Samson, and we need two more. Yeah. All right. So fi finish our our sentences. Uh, but something that we were supposed to talk about last week that we didn't was this real. Oh shit! Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What'd you? Think oh about my that? god! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on. Yeah. Rewind! 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 Herp time is going up. Oh yeah. He's not top three yet. But he is, like, gonna be for I sure. I see, like, future big three, I'd say Herp Time, Mason, and Adam. Future big three is fire. That's a good Future lineup. big three is fire. Yeah, yeah. I do like all three. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, so what, what did you think about the, uh, this fucking... I don't even know what animal this is. It's a dragon. It's a fucking dragon eating shrooms? Mm -hmm. That is exactly what I thought. A Peruvian monkey lizard. <laughs> a dragon. Yeah. Do we know what kind of mushrooms are that? Is that legal? Lizard mushrooms. Are those illegal fucking mushrooms right <laughs> yes, now? Yes, they probably just grew in there or he put them in there. That's crazy. That's, That's cool. pretty yeah. cool. That's pretty good. You know what, yeah. what eats like that too? Redfoots. Really? They eat all the see, mushrooms that I can and see. fungus. What are you looking for? Uh, the fungus. The, fun the fungi? Yo, these hogs be following us, bro. Dude, the, they want to be featured on the, the best fucking reptile podcast yeah. ever, dude. That, that lizard's cool. Yeah. I think that's very... Pull up the it, it's an ignored part of the industry, like diet. You know, yeah. like we have the same staple insects over and over again and yeah, the same yeah, fruits yeah, yeah. and veggies. And it's like, there's a lot more than you what think, we think. You think uh, like a, a lizard like that can get high off of a mushroom? I don't know. That depends on the brain. Hmm. Mm. I'm not sure. I don't think those mushrooms, of course. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. The, the high mushrooms, the real high oh, mushrooms. Like fuck I don't them know. up. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Nobody has studied it. If you want to start, I think I'm gonna have to study this. Nah, shit, you know? <laughs> dude, I'm good. Yeah, but I don't see a lizard tripping. the reason why I bring that up, um, Tino, that's not here. He is right now in Puerto Rico. He sent us a thing that says reptiles are highly emotional, contrary to their cold-blooded reputation. It says when you hear the word rept uh, reptilian or cold-blooded, the first thing that comes to 
uh, mind might be a miserable politician or an uncaring <laughs> boss. In other yeah. words, probably not actual crocodile or lizards. Uh, that's because of uh, for decades reptiles have been characterized as cold, unfeeling, and uh, pr- primitive creatures. But scientists agree that reptiles aren't emotionless. They're misunderstood. Extensive research has shown that reptiles experience a wide range of emotions and that they're highly social, complex animals. I like this conflict. What do you What do you mean conflict? <laughs> it's I, a go ahead, go ahead. Oh, it's a conflict because on one hand you have people who over personify the reptiles, okay. and on the other hand you have the people who don't personify the animals at all. Yeah. And just go clearly or straight off I don't, of like science. I might and fact be super and, wrong right now, but you might be using that word incorrectly. Which one? Personify. Personification. That's the right word. Is it? Yeah. I might be wrong. I don't know English. I'm Hispanic. Continue. I'm confident in one thing, and yes, I, pers- that, that's I use the, the right one word. Thing. I use the right word. Okay. I think so. I think the wording of that was a little iffy because it's like, well, research has. Show, where is the research? You know, like. What is the research paper? What did they study? Because you have to look into that. Because it just says they have emotion, period. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's been yeah, known. Yeah. Like, if a lizard's scared, you can fucking tell when that lizard's scared. <laughs> yeah. If he's angry, you can tell if he's angry. If but he's about to... If, if he's in the mood for breeding, you're gonna, you're gonna know. You're gonna know, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're gonna know. You know, so, like, it's very... It's very gray. The way they wrote that, okay. instead of going into detail with what the emotions are, I'm sure that I mean it's a whole article. I'm sure that there's more yeah. on it. Like, yeah. is it? Are we talking about love? Are we talking about you know, like, yeah, they do feel shit. Like that's not a, a, a an argument anymore. They do yeah. feel shit. Now, what do they feel and to what extent? Because then, if you see the comments, it's just people talking about my bearded dragon loves yes. me, and if somebody else walks in the room, he runs away. Like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Your bearded dragon doesn't know who the fuck like, that is. Yeah. is what's going on. <laughs> Like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I don't... I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I would want to see what the actual... Aloe these days are is showing me all kinds of affection. Yeah? The reverse affection. She's fucking attacking me these days. Damn. Yeah? Yeah, I just think it's getting hotter now. Um, And I think that, you know, she's really, like, searching for food. I gotta feed her maybe a little bit more. You think the sun agitates them? No. I don't know, but, like, now, like, it's getting to a point where I go up to the cage and she, like, runs out and lunges at, at me at the outside of the cage. But if I open it, and, you know, she's a little hesitant, but once I'm in there, and then she's like, oh, it's you. So I don't know what's going on with that. Hmm. I don't think she's it's emotion. the sun or she's... the outside thing, because as everybody's excuse, I work with them outside year-round. No, I don't think it's because she's outside. The I th- sun? I think that it may, it's hotter, and maybe she's hungrier. We just got out of the cold season. That's Those are the only things. I, I literally like. starve the ones I work with sometimes. <laughs> Damn, <on> dude! <laughs> Cancel him! <laughs> On purpose, for real. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. the reason I what? say the sun though is because at least coming from that like pet perspective, uh-huh. whenever you, people take their animals outside, they always yeah. complain about oh it's always so aggressive, so they never take it outside at all. Yeah. And then they have this like kind MBDS of one dimensional view. Yes, they have that, and then they also have a one dimensional view on like the behavior of the animal. Yeah. 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 So uh, I'm gonna talk about the Tarzan thing now. Okay. Let's uh, so there is a shop. Yep. That uh, did you see it? Yep. Oh, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I already knew before it even came out. Oh, so it might be like for realsies. Sure. Okay, so whatever. All right, so uh, Cold Blooded Shop. It is a shop here in uh, in Florida. I think it's in Broward County That's or whatever. Where Buggy came from. Oh yeah, that uh, Bobby. Apparently, uh, do you know who Ben Siegel is? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Ben Siegel, I used to work for him and Amir down south uh, doing the auctions. Uh, he's the one that did the bearded dragon thing that threw the bearded dragon at somebody or whatever, (laughs) allegedly or not allegedly. There's articles. I don't know. Uh, but he's affiliated with cold blooded shop now or has always been secret. I don't know. But so I've been seeing him post a lot of cold blooded shop, really nice photos, which we'll talk about some photo stuff later. They actually posted this more or less crocodile that they're selling. What'd you think about that? I saw that and I was like, I got to show Chuck. (laughs) He's got no comment. Um, but they the reason why there's an association right now with them and uh, Tarzan is that they posted, has anybody done uh, business with Mike Holston? Uh, please message below. Uh, and somebody wrote here, uh, yeah, always straightforward and professional. And then Cold Blood Shop responded saying, wish we could say the same considering he didn't pay for the Bell's Phase lace he ordered from us and a big sale and... Um, he he was ours, and he you know they want him back or payment or whatever. 
So I don't know what's up with that. I can't. I wouldn't imagine that somebody at his level would be willing to risk his reputation for something like that. I don't know. Yeah, I've met him a couple times, but I. You know, I, I think. Don't know I think. Um, we always get one side, and I've only gotten that side of things: is uh-huh. people selling him stuff and him not paying. Like that's not the first thing, the first yeah. time that's happened. Uh, according as far to as you people. know, yeah. Allegedly. As far as I know, I, I've never heard his side of things. He never says anything. Yeah. Uh, but I've heard that same story over and over again through many people. Really? Yeah. yeah. But is that like? Because something that somebody like brought up is that there's a lot of businesses that do like net fifteen, net thirty, net forty five, which is pretty much like payment is due within fifteen, thirty, forty five yeah. days, stuff like that. Mind you, I don't, I don't know. Um, I, I don't I don't know that to be a, a popular thing in the reptile community. Yeah. But maybe that's something that is working. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I wish they, they would say more on what it was. I that just, way instead of like just you know, shooting a guy down, we know what what it is. If it's like some fuck shit, yeah. then like okay, it's some fuck shit. I just feel like dude, if if Buddy was running around like not paying for shit, he, I I feel like that would be way more like out there common knowledge than it is though like, is I, it? like like because I've I've heard the same thing from multiple people but the people that I hear it from don't have like big followings or anything like that yeah you know like I don't know I don't know he actually uh he hit up somebody to try and get Max oh really mm-hmm. no I wouldn't allow it no, <laughs> I would never allow it it's like that's crazy ten thousand or some shit oh Jesus in Christ yeah. Well, that's wild yeah. well I mean hopefully they work that shit out I mean I, like I said I've only met him a couple times he seemed like an alright dude to me I mean I don't yeah. know I, don't I know, know a lot of people hate him I never had any interactions like that with him so I don't really have a say like personally yeah I feel like he's in his own world I'm in doing my his own thing. I don't really yeah, yeah. give a fuck you know um, so I don't know I've heard that he doesn't pay I, I have heard that yeah do I know if it's true or not no I've, I've got no evidence on it that is a big dude that's I'll a big you, motherfucker, yeah. He sat next to me at one of the Animal Con panels, mm. and boy, did I feel small. <laughs> yeah, that was a big motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I remember one time during a reptile show, he was yeah. mad at somebody, and they were arguing or whatever, and I was like, this is my turn <laughs> ugly for the redneck. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. This might turn ugly. Yeah, dude. Uh, so Eric has something that he wants to talk to us about with uh, some tigers. So yeah. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Listen. All right. Go. I believe that there are animals out there still that were deemed extinct. Okay, let me have this. This is one of his special interests. Yes. All right, Forrest Galante, steal somebody else's work. Go ahead. I'm not stealing anybody's work. Anyway, they're talking about the Javan tiger again because they found some uh, some hair back in 2019, and they're trying to put it with a subspecies. Yeah. And they're putting it with the Javan tiger, so now it's another like. It's kind of fueling that fire to keep looking for this kind of stuff, which I think is really interesting. So the, you're saying the Javan tiger was said to be extinct. extinct. Well, it's extinct. It's, Since it the is, 1930s yeah. or 40s okay. or something like and that. And they found hair. Uh, they have a hair sample from a couple years ago that they're... Yeah. What? No, no. Oh. Was, yeah. They have a hair sample from a couple years ago that they're linking to a subspecies. And they, they've, uh, from what I read, they boil it down to two. The Sumatran, which is still extant, and the Javan. Uh-huh. And That's a weird way you said out. extinct. Extinct. That means alive. Alive. Oh, I thought he. <laughs> no. I'm the idiot, yeah. huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> Listen, <man. laughs> I'm like okay. trading the tism to everybody. Yeah, so, yeah. Anyway, so that it's inviting more research and it's inviting more people okay. to kind of go out there and actually start looking because another thing to consider with these extinct animals is that. You got to remember that there's not that many people going out there yeah. <laughs> to look for this stuff anymore, especially in certain parts of the world where there's yeah. a lot of dangers. It's expensive to get there. It's not desirable for a lot of scientists to go out there and kind of some may believe to waste their time to look for this kind of stuff. And, you know, if that's the way it is, that's how they think about it. But um, it's cool. You know, it's we're getting more interest in it and people are actually going out there and actually kind of breaking new ground from old studies that have kind of just been let to kind of just rot. Mm. after a couple years um that's cool i think it's cool what do you think chuck i went deep into that one buddy did you really all right go go there's go, like go. the scientists are arguing that the the way they like what is it like it's like studied the fur was wrong what oh do what do you mean like they did some process wrong i didn't understand it completely but mm. there's people arguing uh, against it like yeah like yeah pushing 
for mm. something that is not real, which happens a lot. That's what you need. That's why with science, you have so many people involved because you need every single side to be like, all right, you did this fucking shit wrong, fix this, and then somebody else jumps yeah. in and tries it. You need sides that don't care so you don't get anything skewed, which is a really big problem with yeah. like the extinct stuff. Yeah. So. so I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what to think. Whenever I see that, arguments and shit, I'm like, yeah, nah, I'm stepping back. I don't even want to. I just like believing that they're, they're alive. That's all. It's like, okay, cool. I have some more gas for my for my hope. Yeah. I actually, uh, talking about some science and, you know, conserving and whatnot, um, I found this article and I thought this was very cool. I don't know if I sent it to you guys already. Uh, Charles Baker, a senior environmental studies major, uh, takes a selfie in Copen, uh, Honduras. I don't know if it's Copen or Copan. Copenhagen. Um, you're so dumb. Uh, class of 2024, Charles Baker works to protect venomous snakes and reptiles and has uh, already made a mark in Central America. The VCU life science student and a friend have launched a nonprofit and purchased a remote property in Honduras to create the first dedicated habitat preservation for a rare pit viper. He saves up his money from his job at a local company building koi fish ponds so he can travel to remote locations in Central and South America to see and photograph rare snakes, reptiles, and amphibians. He He's was doing a, the thing. What a dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. crazy. When what he, a dream. Yeah, dude. When he was a junior, he conducted a herpetological uh, in, inventory for a research station in a remote part of Guyana's rainforest. And he's currently building a nonprofit organization to protect an endangered palm pit viper and other species native to Honduras. Charles, um, in quotations, it says, Charles is a passionate uh, natural historian, in particular herpetologist, said James Von Esch, PhD, a professor, a professor in uh, Virginia Commonwealth University, which is where he goes. Baker and a friend traveled to Honduras on several occasions in search of rare and newly described palm pit vipers in the genius Bothrich. Say that for me. Speak to me. Speak to Landon for me. Bothricus. Bothricus. I don't speak that shit. Uh -uh. <laughs> uh, they met and connected with locals who were also interested in the snakes. Uh, 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 so the rarest, uh, it is home to the population of the rarest of the pit vipers, which is Bothricus. Mm, there you Thala go. Thalus. Thalassinus. Thalus. Thalus? <laughs> Thalus, dude? <laughs> Thalus fucking viper, dude? Yes. Uh, do you know anything about them? Have you heard anything about them? The snakes? Yeah. yeah. Can, can you look up are. what they look like? I don't know shit about the Is snakes. Is that the yellow ones? I don't know. Bothricus, Phyllis. Leviticus. Leviticus, Phallus, Nisus. All right, we're looking this up. Let's see what they look like. Yo, look at Eric's fire ass shirt while we're looking for this thing real quick. The reptiles with podcast merch. Yes, sir. Yeah, there you Jeez. go. Hell yeah, look at him going. Fucking the middle of spring wearing a long sleeve. You can find Listen, that at modernreptileshop.com. So you it got was, a rep. What was, what? what was the species name? Bothricus phallus guy. I'm trying to look for the scientific name again, and I lost it. Bothricus. It was like in the... It was somewhere there. What, what does it start with? B. And the then a T. Oh, here it is. Might be the B and T because there's a picture of one. Yeah. Oh, it's just the patternless version of the picture that's in the. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah, fucking Threat species, pretty cool. Yeah, dude. Pretty cool. That's that's a dream right there, bro. Imagine having a business that just makes you money so you could do what you love. I'm trying. Everyone's just like <laughs> crying inside. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the silence. The silence was crazy, yeah. dude. Yeah. The silence was crazy. Some little kid just ate shit. Oh, that that's so funny. As hell. Oh, that's one thing. of the that's one of the cool things about doing this outside. We get to see all kinds of nonsense. He's crying. oh damn, he's crying. You could hear it on the reptiles with podcast. I don't know if it's because he <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy, dude. Yo, that's crazy. Anywho, so hopefully he didn't trip over that pit viper. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, what did you guys think about the? This is so hard to do while he's crying. I started to feel bad. No, it's yeah. okay. Yeah, don't feel bad. You could hear it. I could hear it on the headphones. Yeah. Um, so what did you guys think about that <laughs> cotton mouth eating the the snapping turtle? That Sad, I sent you guys a photo but of. nature. Nature, bro. Yeah. yeah. Cottons don't care. Yeah. They eat whatever. Yeah, yeah. I was. Uh, did you guys ever watch any of those documentaries on uh, Disney Plus? Like which one? Uh, there was one that was. It was like the deadliest snakes or whatever. I haven't oh, watched no. those, but I have watched like the classic Disney ones sucks. from the sixties yeah. that are like terrible. Disney sucks. Why does Disney suck? Because they show like the wrong things, and you can tell whenever things are. Staged. They said that they found an a thousand pound anaconda. No. Yeah. I don't believe Dude. that. 
dude. That, well, you don't believe Disney's that they said so that, bad. or you don't believe that they found that? That they found that, dude. Disney's so it's bad. Disney, what is Disney Disney's known for? So bad. It's so bad. The crocodile documentary. Uh -huh. This is a black caiman. Spectacle caiman <laughs> swimming by. <laughs> they eat hutia, which is a rodent. The rodent's dead. They're trying to make it alive, but it's dead. They're oh, what do you mean they're trying to make it alive? Like they're moving it, like it's alive, dude. But it's dead. It's fucking dead. And the Cuban croc jumps and gets it. And I'm like, it you know what's crazy? Dead. Well, I guess because it's like documentary, but like they show mad live feedings. In that fucking uh, that episode that I watched, and a lot of it is fake. A lot of it is staged. Yeah, yeah. Ain't right. nobody up in arms about that shit. But have you have you seen the ones from like the sixties? Because they think it's no, real. No, they no. all think it's oh, real. Man. Steve Irwin was fake. Like like the stage stuff, that, man. Huh? Like what do you mean fake? Like a lot of that was staged. Well, I mean, like yeah, you, it's it's TV. Them. Yeah, you have to put stuff like, like that. Herping was staged, dude. But at least they're getting the species right. That, Disney's that for sure, but it was staged. Yo, cancel there. Chuck right now for saying that shit. It say was that. staged. It's you like you said, it's TV. It's TV. Everybody <laughs> yeah. on TV is fake. Yeah. I mean, look at Jay for his third. How do you think he made it? Fake. Ugh. Mad bio reptiles. Fake. Look at him right now. He's not even mad. <laughs> He's not even a biologist. <laughs> oh, that is true. Yeah. That is true. Are you a reptile? <laughs> I am a reptile. Oh, fuck. At least you got that part right. Yo, what do that tongue thing fuck? again. That tongue thing is crazy right now. <laughs> I'm hungry as fuck. All right. Nobody fucking asked. I'm thirsty. Yeah? You want some water? We're in, the, we're water in nature. Right we have food all around us. We just have to, you know. These are all invasive species. Even oh, what? Better. All these plants? Even better. A lot of them. Like yeah? One touching you over there. Yeah. So, <laughs> while Chuck is drinking water, I want to. I want Eric to give us an update. Eric has been nonstop working on his- Nothing. What do you mean? Oh, I thought you were talking about like job. Never mind. No, no. <laughs> yeah, he's still jobless. But well, not for long. You got DoorDash. Yeah, You're good. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Sponsored good. by DoorDash. Hell. Yo, no. my water just <laughs> all over your face, <laughs> dude. That's crazy. Uh, no, but Eric's been nonstop working on um, some enclosures. He got two enclosures from uh, Dubia.com. Uh, those four by twos that yes. Adam keeps like twenty thousand leopard geckos yes. in for some reason. <laughs> Um, he moved up his carpet pythons. Yes, moved I now keep room. all four of my carpets in the four by two. Where um, are the other enclosures at? Um, what do you mean? What other around? Oh, they weren't that big. What I was about to say. Hey, are you selling them or what? Yeah, you need stuff. I, I don't remember how big they are. I got forties. I got. Tw uh, I'll, we'll talk, we'll about talk about it later. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got he's got a lot of extra. <laughs> the tank dealer. Um, yeah. It's the room is a mess right now, but everything's been set up for the most part for now. Four by twos are in construction. It's yeah. actually really sad seeing the snakes in there because one of them was just bedding and a stick and I just put the carpet in there just because so I could see what they would look this like. This man posted that literally four by two, <laughs> no, 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 no bedding, well, just a bedding. stick now and he I was just like bedding. bioactive. Man, Bro. Better than Adam. <laughs> better. <laughs> <laughs> no, but dude, listen, when I put that poor snake in there, uh -huh. I laughed so hard. Why? Because it was funny. I, my my little, the little, about it, the little, I think the, you're tizzing out right now. Funny up, bro. Oh, bear funny up, tank. dude. It's listen. I'm just thinking about how minimalist everything is nowadays. And like, oh, how much more minimal can you get? Just the enclosure, a big ass stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the snake. Okay. And the snake, just the snake in there. And I thought yeah. that was so funny. It, I I think it's awesome. The snake looks tiny in there. Yes. I'm excited for it to grow into the enclosure. Yes, they will grow. You just eventually. finished getting the last carpet for his project. Yes, which is very good. Little coastal with a bunch of hets in them, but those are very important hets because they will give me, hopefully, a couple good chances to make some snows. Yeah. Um, Which at this point you're ahead of the game because not a lot of people are doing it. Yeah. So now I'm just, it's just the waiting game, waiting until they grow up, and then Chuck is like, I don't give like, a what the fuck, fuck is about your shit? morphs. This is is this worse than like my the, the turtle story that I was telling earlier? Yeah. Damn. It's pretty bad. Well, anyway. Um, Everything's been upgraded okay. for the most part. There's only a couple animals that don't have new things, yeah. but it's coming together. The room's a mess. Outside is done, finally. Yeah. Like, done, done. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just a bunch of, like, construction yeah. in my in my little world. Listener of the podcast, uh, ZA Reptiles, or ZA Reptiles. Zaw. I say ZA because <laughs> pizza. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she posted uh, this video here yeah. of, her, of her water dragon. And it reminded me of you, dude. Yes, a fellow water dragon enjoyer. Yeah, with the fucking... <laughs> <Enjoyer. laughs> Look with at the, this shit. Yeah, but her growth tent's insane. Damn. You I feel terrible. My my water dragon's double the size, but I have, like, she has double the size of an enclosure for it. 
Damn, dude. I, I got to get something new for him. You got to funny up. You got to step up your water dragon enclosure game, yeah, dude. Yeah, man. I um, got to I gotta so get on that he's the one that got me into Reptilinks. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yo, shout out Zoe, dude. Hell yeah. Shout out Zoe and the Reptilinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still yeah. got a bunch, bro. Yeah. I want to buy some. Bunch. I want to try them out. They're they're good. They're cool. Yeah. Like, for real. Use my code, though. But yeah. <laughs> well, cool. What is your code? Mad Bio, bro. With bro go. or without bro? Without bro. Without okay. bro? Um, <laughs> Mad Bio, you got any life updates going on with you? Anything cool in the in your world? Not really. Just chilling, working. I would literally work every day, bro. That's what I do. And I'm about to get even more jobs. Yeah. So. We have something that we have to talk about that we spoke about a little bit what? last week. Oh, shit. We spoke about it over dinner. What? Oh, you guys want we to can't dinner? talk about it now. I don't remember. I hate this man. What did we talk was about? We were like, yo, we have to do this business. <laughs> <laughs> I am not doing business. What with was him. the business? What was the business? It, it had to do with marketing. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Now, never well, mind. Never mind. About never it. mind. <laughs> His intentions are obviously not. Yeah. Uh, Dude, listen. What's up? I'm already in, bro. You're in. I'm already. He's in. inserted. I'm already in that business, bro. There you go. I'm already in. Good. Without him? I've been in, bro. That's the thing. That's fine. That's fine. I've been in. He needs. He just needs to join. Yeah. Tino's in. Tino's in? Oh, yeah. That's Think right. about it. How is Tino in? Split Oak. Yeah. I Am I guess? in? Yeah, I yeah, guess. He's yeah, he's in. Yeah. For the free, but... <laughs> For the free? <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. He's technically in. All right, whatever. Uh, so I got an update. Um... I'm really into fucking green tree python. I won't. Well, pause. I think it's blue. I'm re- no Diddy. I'm really into green tree pythons right now. I don't know is that why. That's your special They're interest cool. right now. What do they, you mean no, you don't no, no, know no. why? I, so this is the thing. So I asked those two fools over there, uh, our audience members, uh, what what they thought about if you know if that was like a venture that I should go about. And then one of them asked me like, why do you want to do that? And I was like, well, once upon a time when I first got into this, there were animals that I thought were out of the realm of possibilities. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was one of them. But these days, I'm feeling pretty confident in my skills as a keeper, and I'm like. Maybe I should do something like that. Outside. Outside? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. That'd be lit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd I just, be lit. I, specifically, I was thinking about making a greenhouse. There's another person on that we'll talk about in a little bit that has a greenhouse with a bunch of animals, but I would like to do a greenhouse and have a couple. It's not just a bad don't idea. make it cheap to where it breaks. No, yeah, no, 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 no. Like something good. Something good. I don't like doing things cheap. I feel like you 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 spend double later trying mm-hmm. to fix the fucking thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's too much risk too. But I know that you're not into like morphs, and I I don't know if these are actual actual morphs or just like localities. I feel like it's just if you mix up the localities good enough, Look at that you can make yeah, that. that's just pretty as fuck. Yeah, yeah. I would not deny that's just pretty as fuck. Yeah. Look at that, bro. That's cool. Why pythons and not emeralds? <sighs> I love collecting eggs. I love for real. He loves eggs. I, I, the Easter Bunny's my homie. <laughs> like, just, no, I really, I really like the. It, it's weird because with lizards, I don't like collecting eggs. I'm like, give me the live bearing lizards, dude. <laughs> but with with snakes, I really do enjoy uh, collecting the mm. eggs. I like the incubation process. Uh, so, also, I'd rather get bit by a green tree than a fucking emerald. Yeah, dude. nerve damage isn't a joke. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have the nerve. And then also, something else that I'm getting really into these days, other than my blue tongues, I'm scrolling through here. Um, fucking wildlife photography, yeah. dude. Oh, uh, yeah. You, that's not wildlife. No, what? but it's an animal. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, I just looked. I'm like, that's studio as hell. No, no, no. But do you see how they're taking these photos? Okay, yeah, I'm, yeah, getting, yeah, yeah. I'm getting yeah. obsessed with this shit. Yeah. Like, I already told my wife, I'm like, there's a problem... I don't know if this is becoming a special interest of mine, but I'm like, I need to buy a camera. I need to buy one of those flashes that goes over the guess thing. What? Guess what? what? Guess what? 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 Guess what? what? I can get you all that. We got to do this fast. I literally I have the special interest <laughs> listen, now. Listen, 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 listen. I have a friend. I have uh-huh. a friend that literally, uh, we were into like people photography for a minute and then that shit died out. And now he's into wildlife. He's in yeah. Cali right now. Okay. Like recording stuff. And Talk he about- wanted mammals and stuff. And then out of nowhere, he's like, dude, birding is fucking fire yes dude. Yeah, dude, look look he got in like less than a year ago and he is literally you gonna cry you saw that yeah that was a baldy look. A baldy. he got uh uh flamingos in tampa dude not in tampa yeah let me see if I i'm find not gonna that. lie to you i'm look, not gonna lie to you that's flamingos cool in tampa 
I'm I'm a little bit upset with Tino. Why? Okay, because I'm going through a lot of these uh, like pages that I'm like finding of like wildlife photography, and so like some of this stuff, it like with the black background, it looks studio, but it's not, dude. It's the flash yeah, yeah, that they're yeah. using, and he has that too. Yeah, that, I've used it. Yes, yes. <laughs> he has so, like a nine thousand dollar camera. Bro, that's crazy. Tino? Mm-hmm. So no, I, no, 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 I was like, what? So I'm getting mad at Tino because all these pages that I'm finding, Tino follows them all, and I'm like. He's fucking gatekeeping the fire shit, dude. Yeah. Dude, this is my friend's setup. That's the camera. He has a monitor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, those yeah. are barn owls. Oh, dude, that's that crazy, cool. dude. So, uh, you're hearing this first now. Uh, this is Yoshi, fucking wildlife photographer. I'm giving up breeding reptiles. For that's real? it, it's done. Oh, shout out to Aramis uh, Nature. Sure he is. actually messaged about the Split Oak documentary, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's the one. Yeah. He's the one. Yep, yep, yep. He's about to be a king. He's still learning, but bro, that's a king in the making. Yeah. Bro. Hell yeah. Has anybody gotten any updates from Tino and his PR trip? Other he than just crabs. Like, ra- just looking crabs. for crabs. He has crabs. He found <laughs> rat. Uh, he, anal. Found, he found the stuff he found on the road, bro. <laughs> I'm I'm like not no, they got crabs yet. in the road in Puerto Rico? Yes. I can yeah. literally drive around and find those. Okay. <laughs> so ridiculous. I'm waiting I'm for not, my cookies. Nah, not even <laughs> the boa, bro. Give me the boa. Nah. I literally gave him the location. I said, "Go here, find a boa, send me a picture." And he hasn't done anything. No, I don't know if he's gonna. Let him yeah. have a vacation. Yeah, yeah. Nah. No, he's not trying Never to vacate. Vacation. Nah, he's flexing that he can herp, herp. Show yeah. me you can herp. Make nah, me proud. He's gonna come back. He's oh, I didn't to, feel like it. He's doing uh, all these trips yeah, on his own, yeah, trying yeah. to like flex on everybody. Look at what I'm doing. I'm trying to get these hours. Can't even find anything in Puerto Rico. <laughs> <but> crabs. <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude. If he doesn't find a boa, a retic, a caiman, I will lose my shit. Yeah. I will lose my shit. Yeah, yeah. Or something cool. A, a spherodactylus. Mm. A mongoose. What's a spherodactylus? Wow. The little geckos that Herp Time has. Uh, uh, I didn't know those were Puerto Rican. Some of them. Yeah. Oh, some. Yeah, each the island has different ones. Yeah. Uh, That's I didn't why know he that. has so many colors and shit. Mm. Each island has different ones. The ones that he always posts in the little acrylic cube. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Those things are fire. Yeah, dude. I was. Listen, I'm not a poacher I'm or gonna, nothing, yeah. but it, it was itching. <laughs> yeah. The, the poacher, like. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. The Spaniard in I'm me gonna, was itching. I bro. think I'm gonna have to unfollow Armin. Because that guy's got me with ideas. Oh, he yeah. posted the, the sh- frogs. That's what I was gonna say. The right frogs, now. dude. <laughs> oh my god! And the f- fucking frogs. Literally, yo, look at this shit. This shit's crazy. The, the, the rain chamber. Yeah, he built a fucking rain chamber, dude. So he stuck a water pump. It's into so PVC. simple. Once he did it, yes. And that's once, it. He did it. once he did it, I was like, "Fuck me! You want fuck me right now? You wanted no, to no, do like, what no, to you? Up. Jesus, yo, that's Armin." What I meant. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. Jesus Christ. Yo, this is crazy. Just say it a little and, louder for and, the kids in the background. <laughs> yeah, there's literally... We're right behind a fucking playground. That what? Bro. <laughs> <laughs> we are. Why this- would you put us here, dude? <laughs> yeah, you're right. You can't be like 500 feet from here or something. <laughs> so he built this... Fu- <laughs> <laughs> so Dang. it's so simple. It's with fucking pothos and he has... Fucking- so simple yet dude, goes so hard. So good. I'm making that. Dude, I... I went, I called him the other morning and I'm like, bro, I call Eric. I called Eric the other morning and I was like, yo, we have to do this rain chamber shit. And we and I sent him another video of Armin, the one that he did of the tiger salamanders. For the water python. Yeah. For the water pythons. Bro. I'm like, yo, we gotta bro. do this right now. In that setup, it's so easy to make. You could put that at a reptile show. Yeah. And just the other show. Yeah. Let's do it. That's what ah! we're doing. Do it. Ah! There we go. Change the game, bro. Yeah, yeah, let's do and that. Put a blue t- <laughs> 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 let's do that. Get a bunch of frogs, yeah, yeah. put them in that, or like an aquatic lizard, semi aquatic lizard. Yeah. I know where yeah. we can get one. From that guy. The dragons. The dragons. The dragons. Dragons would be fire. What dragons? The dragons I have. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, oh, I'm making that for the dragons. At the house. Done, dude. Thank Fine. you, Armin. You're <laughs> yeah. great. I'll send you a tip. Yeah. So, um, I said earlier that we were going to talk about somebody with like a badass greenhouse. Yo, look at this guy, dude. It's a Adam Life Exotics. <laughs> that, yo, that's tall Adam right there. <laughs> tall so, Adam. Yeah. Tatum. One Tatum. Um, so, pretty much this whole area you saw here that he has um, that, that frog. I don't know if he's just going to talk about the frog right now. He's Whatever. Just I'm just going to scroll through his fucking. I'm going to scroll through his shit right now. 
It's just I did I didn't send a lot of it because a lot of it has like audios and stuff. Look at this. Shit. Oh, like it's legit. It's not mesh or nothing. No, no, no. He has a greenhouse, and in this greenhouse, he has some dart frogs. He has a big ass pond in the back. He has emerald tree skinks just vibing in that shit. Uh, it's the so pond sketchy here, though, bro. Here, a hurricane or something. All that yeah. shit goes loose. Yeah, you're gonna be in trouble. Yeah. Do you know where he is? Look at that. He's north somewhere, I bet you. He's got to be north. Yeah. He lo- he looks north. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he looks like Adam. He looks north. like Adam. He does not look like Adam at all. <laughs> As we're talking about this, I'm like, dude, he's just bald. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the only thing. Bald and bearded. Man that's is all you bald. Get. Adam doesn't have a beard. Yeah, he does. He's not like stubbly. Oh, okay. Talking about stubble, everybody look at Eric right now. Sheesh! We've been telling him to look grow the look beard. Look we had a comment that was like, Eric needs to grow his beard so I can kiss him. It Eric was needs to shave because yeah. it's uncomfortable. Eric needs to man up and never say that again. No. Okay. I can be a man and be clean shaven. All right. And no, something Fuck else. You. Not allowed. I wanted to show you guys. Oh, I'm on the wrong fucking thing. So, uh, you guys follow this dude, uh, Father Blue? I don't, I don't think I follow I him, but I, follow, I know but of I, him. Yeah, I know of him, too. Yeah. I don't know if I follow him. Yeah. I don't so, I don't know if he ever he, did it. I remember that he had a GoFundMe going because he yeah. wanted to go to where yeah, the Blue Tree monitor. He's still raising it, I think. He's still raising it. Mm-hmm. Um, he did a video. He's got some like really like badass enclosures that he built for a bunch of uh, Blue Tree monitors. And look at this thing, bro. He fucking made it. This is the second one, if I'm not mistaken. The first one was born premature, but he's got a whole ass baby blue tree. That's a crazy set. looking animal. Yeah. That's so That's one of my sick. favorite lizards. Dude, they're fucking awesome. One of my favorite lizards. Dude. I feel bad. Dude. What's up? Amoebas. We'll talk about it after. Uh-huh. Uh, later. But stealing my heart. Yeah. Amoebas are fire. Hmm. They're fire. Amoebas are fire. Uh, but I feel bad because me and him were messaging a while back and I was trying to get him on the podcast but it was also around the time that my employment situation was you know damn yeah. uh, so I like kind of got off of social media so I stopped responding to people and I just got back to him now and I feel bad because he left me on red and I'm like I didn't Aww. mean to leave you on red dude I'm just going through shit but hopefully we can get him on the podcast to talk yeah. about his situation um, he's doing a lot of cool stuff it's nice to see the future. I always say it's nice to see the future of, of the of keeping. Yeah, it's, it's going in different directions. Uh, but amoebas, what's up with? It? Oh, it's, we got to talk about it. No, 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 no we can okay. talk. Okay. They're right. so cool. So much personality. I have personality. This- yeah, dude. I saw I saw this guy that's training them. Training them. Training them like target training them. Yeah. Insane. You ever seen a melanistic one? Yeah, I don't yeah. care. We had one at my old job. No, I don't care. With I want band. one of the giants. Yeah. Which I'll never get. But Why don't we just go down to <clears throat> South Florida, bro? Uh, that's probably a thing for like next week. Like Daniel's like, okay, let's go get them. I'm like, I can give you a spot where they got them. For real? Yeah. All the time. If there, as if there's trash outside on the side of the the streets, yes. Okay. Yeah, where yeah, I used same. to live, riddled. Yeah. Send yeah. me, send me that shit, cause I'm yeah. about to pick some up. Yeah. They're only at 15 bucks, <clears throat> but the ones that are here are like cat, like wild caught from their country, and I'm like. Really? Yeah. Uh, Damn. I'm like, that's stupid, bro. Like, if we have them down there. <laughs> the ones that are in, in South Florida are fucking gorgeous, dude. The greens. Yeah. The giant yeah, greens. Yeah. They're fucking awesome, dude. Yeah. The blue, the giant Puerto Rican blues is what I want. Yeah. Them. They're like this big. That's fire. I want to look. And then, like, the, like, the back legs and uh, the blue is crazy, bro. Giant PR. Yeah, I think I brought trail mix. After this, I'm going <laughs> to fucking destroy trail mix, dude. Damn. Damn. Timestamps. They Damn look like that. Stamp. That's a smaller one. Oh. So cool. That's the Puerto Rican one? Yeah. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. I got I to gotta remember all this so I can add pictures. Look at that. Damn. Like, they're, they're, not, they're not as colorful, but they're big. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. average. It's average, I swear. <laughs> Bro, look at that thing. That's fire. <gasps> yeah. That's cool. <sighs> yeah. Bring Those some. Lacertas, those are like... Underrated. Yeah. yeah. What the amoebas or lacertas? Both. Oh, both. Yeah. Lacertas yeah. are coming. Lacertas up. are coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But amoebas. Amoebas got left behind. Though. Yeah. yeah, bro. Yeah. I literally could keep some, train them, just like I do with the croc monitor. Yeah. Like that's crazy. Like I was just doing some things with them at the shop, and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. this is bad. Like I could do a lot yeah. with this little lizard. Hell yeah, dude. What what time are we at right now? We are at 44. 44. All right. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna say. I said it last week, and I'm going to keep saying it. We're doing lives after these streams, which is usually around 
Sunday 4 to 5 Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you're on our YouTube channel so we can, uh, you know, do do these live, some Q&As and whatnot. Uh, NARBC Dallas just passed. Another one we didn't go to. <laughs> Hell yeah. But you know who did go? Uh, the not girl, us. Not us. But the girl from the Wild Type podcast out uh, there with their merch. What is it? Oh, the what? Lisa, I think both of them went. Yeah, they both went. That's oh. what I'm saying. And um, I think I'm going to have to become an honorary girly. And <laughs> fucking, I, I love that podcast. They're fucking killing it. I, I say it a lot. An honorary I, I'm not trying to, to suck their. I'm not trying to suck their dicks or anything like that. They don't got, but it's okay. It's 2024. Um, yeah. But yeah, they're fucking killing it. Yeah. Um, they're, they're out there doing the thing. Yeah, they're doing yeah, pretty fucking good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a comment I wanted to answer to, oh. but we can do it on the live, right? Or do it here? A comment that you wanted to answer to? Actually, I had one too. Yeah, pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. Okay. <clears throat> so. The what's? The comments. On what? Uh, so, the comment says. No. <coughs> no. So, Chuck, are you completely against reptile shows? Question mark. You always mention the deli cup thing, which I get, but what are you saying? They shouldn't sell animals? Question mark. Or each table has to have proper enclosures for everything how would they be able to travel sell the quantity they want to tell us your ideal reptile show okay so i'm not against reptile shows i'm against the outdated form of reptile shows it does not evolve other than where it is and that's not on the reptile show itself, but the people that attend those reptile shows, the people that vend at those, those reptile shows, because they've become so used to the minimalistic thing to have as many animals as possible in such smaller spaces. Quantity that, over quality. Yeah, yeah. They're just, they're just putting as many animals out and trying to sell as much as they possibly can when they can actually outperform at a show, be memorable out, like be outstanding on top of everybody else and sell those same animals even if, if it's from home. You could use a show instead of a, as a selling point, you could use it as a marketing point mm -hmm. and grow 10 times bigger than any of the other ones. And that's how most conventions are too. Like they're not necessarily like vending like exactly. things. Exactly. If you go to any other con, they're trying to grow mm -hmm. business-wise. They're trying to, to connect with other people. It's not exactly selling. There is some selling, but they're trying to show we are the best. Yeah. And if you have a whole bunch of deli cups, you're not showing you're the best. Yeah. <laughs> you're just showing <laughs> the your, silence. Yeah. Yeah. You're just showing. No, I get it. I get it. You're just yeah. showing your basic, like the table next to you. You have nothing different from the yeah. table next to you. So, this is the thing. So, I think deli cups have a place in the sense of like, nah. <laughs> you have, I'm saying like, you have a nice display and then you might have some animals in some deli cups and whatever. I mean, that's that because you have a nice display. But, I think that a lot of people do it, other than the fact that they don't want to spend the money on the nice displays and they don't have the creativity to go that route, uh, but people, a lot of the people that go to those shows to buy animals, like, they like to pick through the deli cups. Mm -hmm. They like it's to have it right thing. there. A lot of, uh, somebody had, uh, somebody that's here with us uh, had spoken to me about like sometimes people just see acrylic cases or something and they automatically think ball python and they just walk the other way yeah but you can mm. change that very easily you're right and mm. that's the part where it's about it's about creativity yeah like that's you can have your deli cups but how are you representing those deli cups are you just uh, flat on your not table not even then not even then because the animals you're putting in a deli cup is a lizard bent and fucking over well put into a fucking deli cup appropriate size but then there's a guy that had some like deli cup displays but the tops were removable and the tops were acrylic so it was the a deli cup the bottom, but the top was an acrylic top that you would pop off, mm. showcase the animal, and then when they're ready to go, you just put your new top on top, and they take it, and you keep your acrylics, your acrylic sphere. That's still, it's still in a deli cup. Yeah, that's it. That does not change anything. I mean, it's innovation. But, but yeah. it, it's it's innovating. Yes. But then it's not just laid down flat on the table. Yeah. It's they're displayed. What as I would, deli I, don't cup I don't think that's much. What I would play with eventually, if whenever I start selling my own shit, I would probably make some. Some nice displays and have the animals that are like for sale probably like just have one or two on the table and have the rest underneath yeah. so people can look at the display, they can come up to the table, they can yeah, ask their question, and then they, hey, cool. yeah. do you want to see what I have? And then I pull out some of the animals that I have and they can pick whichever ones they want. I get you. So you can kind of get away from that deli cup C because on like one hand, deli cup C is crazy. The yeah. thing that you said about the acrylics is 100% true, but it's also true about deli cups. Yeah. But the opposite. 
if you see more deli cups, you're more inclined to look because, oh, let me see if I can find the diamond in this haystack or whatever. That so I'm we, for. we have a friend that only displays deli cups, and his yeah. table is always packed. Yes. But it's not because of the deli cups, it's because the guy works with poachers. <laughs> <laughs> Are you. I was it's a whole say, bunch of poached animals <laughs> put into deli cups. I was gonna say they're like fifteen it's, bucks. It's like, like of course people are gonna <laughs> yeah. buy them, bro. Like that's way different. It's like the it's a whole bunch of shit with like, bro. Come it's on, it's the bro. movie bin at Walmart for it's the five dollar movie, it's a, it's a bro. Bro, <laughs> exactly. you, are you gonna are you gonna go to the guy that's breeding fucking snakes and sells them to you for one fifty, or the guy that pays some some broke motherfucker in Suriname to catch them and put them on de- in a deli cup for fifty bucks? Where that's are you going? Where you. are you gonna buy from? See, there's two the people. The cheaper area. No, no, no. You go to the breeder who put in the time and effort. But like, people don't. People, people don't. don't. People so don't. It's a culture so you thing. Can't, you can't just say like, oh, like no, the deli cups are helping. No, no. no well, they're not the, helping whatsoever. No. He just has cheap shit on the table. <laughs> and people love cheap shit. Listen. That's what it is. The I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but that's what it is. You get the, Yo, everybody. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Look at that table. He can make all the thousands <laughs> of dollars you want. <laughs> Tell me how many teeth the people that go to that table have. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. Count them. <laughs> Count them, bro. Count them. Putting they are the whole. <laughs> This loser oh health look not good. <laughs> 50 bucks? That's a steal. <laughs> Don't put them in my backyard. Don't come at me with some poach shit. So, okay, so what's the answer? What What is the future dude, for you for reptiles? Dude, 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 dude. If you have frogs, what Armin did, he, that <laughs> shit looks so fucking simple. Put some fucking I water. I think he wants to fuck get Armin. A pump, boom. You got fucking frogs. That simple for nothing. For nothing. You could do versions of that with so many things, bro. That was so simple. Yeah. And it looks so good. You could get that done in no time. Yeah. It's so simple. It's not much more money. Yeah. I think... I, I will say that I think there's also like a laziness to it. Some people just don't, of course you know. it is a, what you get used to, and you want to make money. You don't want to spend money. You don't want to market yourself, bro. If you have a table set up, like I'll really set what, up, yeah. you will outstand everybody else. I'll everybody will remember you. Something uh, now that I've been doing more shows more often, something everybody always got has to complain about the show. Everybody always complains about the of show. Course. It's like okay, but what are you doing to make the show better? Mm-hmm. Because the promoter does have a job and you could sit there and complain about maybe they didn't market enough maybe they didn't do this enough but what are you doing at yeah. these shows to bring people in because you're just expecting to pay for a table and then make money yeah. it's just like mm-hmm. no like what are you doing for your business what are you doing to make the situation better the community yeah. better yeah. Yeah. everybody yeah, yeah, yeah. likes to talk about community but when it comes to you putting an extra effort you're not yeah. doing the and thing it's the bro. same grumpy old sellers that complain about the same old thing bro yeah dude, like dude. oh you didn't you didn't market the show enough okay but how did you market yourself yeah. at the show selling yeah. the same it's like, ball pythons it's this yeah. thing, this thing. <laughs> You being in a you, band. You stand like this. You stand like this in front of a table. Yeah, no smile, no nothing. You, I, I take this from being in, in, in a band. It's like, okay, you you expect to show up at a random venue in Kentucky and sell some fucking tickets, but you didn't post the show. No. Nope. You didn't promote yourself at the show. You didn't collect emails at the newsletter to see, in your newsletter to see if you even had an audience at that show. You had no business going to that show. Yep. It's like, what are you doing also? Yep. It, it that, works both and that's ways. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. The Delhi exactly. Cup thing should die out already. Yeah. All and right. and if you bro, whoever does it, whoever does it, I'm telling you, you will stand out against everybody else. Yeah. Every time they go to a show, they're gonna think, dude, I wonder what this guy's gonna do yeah. this time. We will be we'll we'll be that guy. You're gonna be that guy? Yeah. Alright. Or it could just be me. We'll just do it at Daytona. We'll just have some badass shit going on in Daytona. I'll just bring right. let's do it. Exposition. Exposition? If it's a reptile All right. exposition. All right. I got you don't one have to more sell. thing. I got one more hilarious video. What did you guys think about this? Is I can't uh, take my son. I hated nowhere. that video. So it's some guy showing Jesus. a ball python to a kid. Kid is like freaks out. Ah, it's just damn, dude. Ah. So much, Sadness. so much Sadness. going on wrong in that video. Sadness. Sadness. But I will say irresponsibility. Don't shit on the kid. A lot of people are shitting on the yeah. kid. No, like the, kid, the kid doesn't know. He doesn't know what the fuck's going on. Everyone around him is, you know. It's not a lot. acting right also, around the snake. This is like a fucking mall. Yeah. yeah, I've been seeing a lot of that lately, and actually in person. Like I've been to a couple places I'm and I'm seeing people Why? around. Oh, it's it's Chuck's fault. Oh, I used to do that. Yeah, yeah, but you're also not doing that. I would hope so. Doing what? What this guy did? What? Just slapping the snake around some kid's neck. I was. God that guy. damn it, bro! Why? Yeah, guy. One more reason. I made money from it. One more reason to cancel Mad Bio. Honestly, at this point, I'm, I'm working hard on it. Uncancelable. 
Hell yeah. Uh, but there's on that note too, I don't know if you guys have seen, but there's a guy going going around, like he just has a little baby ball python on his hand and he's asking people to go hold it at like Walmart and stuff like yeah. that and making everybody freak out and sometimes the snake does uh, get like tossed and shit. So I'm like, no, Man. No, that's the snake is okay. Like I'm not, oh, for, I'm not, I'm not worried for that. It's getting like, tossed. Yeah, but like, it, I know if it's okay. Like, oh, I'm not he saying knows. he knows if it's okay. Okay, how do I rephrase this? Because I can see okay. this going bad. Okay, 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 okay. What you're saying is that the snake's outside appearance appearance is healthy, as in the guy might be taking care of it no. correctly. What I'm saying is the snake I know is resilient, so it's not gonna die like immediately from being dropped like that. Granted, being dropped like that frequently. It's gonna do some damage. It's gonna make it a spider in no time. <laughs> but that was crazy. like that was he funnied up. He funnied up. <laughs> what I have a problem with is the problems that people are having with it. They're putting their their their, their angry comments in the wrong place. Understood. Where it, it should the be owner. like it's the owner. Like, come on, yep. guys. Like, don't do this with your animals. That's yep. not my way of doing it. For me, I hate frogs. You're afraid of frogs. Yeah. I know what it's like to have a fear of animals, so I'm never going to approach someone, especially with a fucking snake of all things, to freak them the fuck freak out. Freak them out yeah. like yeah. that. You know? You're just yeah. asking for so trouble. I, I never had that happen to me, like while I did it, because I made sure, like the people that came up to me wanted to do it. Yes. But working at a zoological facility that I used to work at, it used to happen a lot. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. 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 People would pay to hold it, and then. They'll drop it, yeah, and then you just have to be like, oh, walk out, yeah. goodbye. That's yeah. it. No, and even at the but. shop that I used to work at, too, that would happen a lot, too. And for me, it's like with the parents, like, do you, like, they don't react. Yeah. They, they're fine with, or with they their laugh. kid. <laughs> they laugh it off. They're fine with their kid chucking. We had a kid once, like, legit, like, brush off a baby uh, baby veiled chameleon like it was a mosquito. And the the parents just, like, laughed. And, like, one of my old coworkers was just, like, trying to, like, gather this chameleon again. And she did her best to kind of, like, reprimand the kid without, you know, yelling at the kid in front of the yeah, parents. Yeah, but yeah. even then, there's just no, like... The parents are kind of just yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're off in their own world. Let let me let my kid loose in some public institution <laughs> and let the fucking employees do the job. Yeah. I'm like, all right. All right Don't shit. do that, guys. Don't do that. Wait, right. is this it? This is it. Listen. What about, did you guys see the video of the lady that dropped the purse in an alligator enclosure? No, I saw no. a phone. Yeah, she like she dropped her purse. She jumped the fence with her <laughs> child. <laughs> what the fuck? And the child had to go around and what get it. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah. Mind you, they were like four footers, but still. I thought you were talking about the kid with four <laughs> no, feet. No, no. I'm like, that's almost my height. <laughs> <laughs> no, the gators are four feet, dude. That's crazy. Yeah, the gators, like, that's mind you, they were like, what the fuck is going on? They, they were literally like you, bro. Yeah. And then he had to go get it. She's like, you gotta go this way. And he's like, like, the people outside, they're like, they're gonna get eaten. And the kid's still, like, that's walking That's a crazy origin it. story. How old was though? his Jesus kid? Jesus Christ. I don't know. He looked like he was, like, eight. He's just doing what his mom told him to do. Yeah. That's crazy. Insane. My mommy said so. Yeah. That's they all. should. They should take away that kid from that mother. That's fucked. Yeah, and those are the kind of people that buy deli cups. Got him. <laughs> Listen, we got to cut this right now. I'm yeah. shaky. I'm hungry. I need to get my nut on. Okay. All right, anyways, <laughs> this was the Reptiles with Podcast. Bye. <laughs>